Good morning. This is Bill from Audio Europa Naples, and today I've got a limited edition of what's already a pretty rare bird. Uh, this is a 2006 Lexus SC430 folding hardtop convertible. SC stands for Sport Coupe, I believe. Uh, this is a Pebble Beach edition in 06. That means there's only about 500 of these things running around. Has special badging, paint scheme, floor mats, that sort of thing. Very, very cool car. Uh, you know, the SCs are, to me, they're, you know, very, very attractive cars. There's some debate about that. You know, some, oh, you know, they're kind of swoopy or this or that. I, you know, I just think there's nothing else out there that's quite like them. And uh, that in and of itself is a, is a pretty neat deal. Uh, you know, I suppose if you squint a little bit, you could say, okay, you know, if Buick had built a really high-end Riviera, you know, it might have looked like this. And by the way, isn't that a shame that they did away with names like Riviera? I remember cars had great names. Buick Riviera, Cadillac Eldorado, Sedan DeVille. Now it's all initials and dashes and numerals and I don't know, just annoying. Uh, you can see it's finished in Tiger Eye Mica outside. Again, that's part of that special Pebble Beach edition. Big twice pipes at the bottom. Uh, now updated LED tail lights in 06. Rear spoiler. Uh, you know, the design team for this car, they were sent to the Cote d'Azur for, you know, I don't know, a few months, maybe a year. What a nice setup, huh? They fly you to the south of France so you can, uh, you know, come up with a design for the new flagship. And what they did was they styled it after the super yachts in the harbor. So if you kind of look down the side of this car, uh, it is very reminiscent of what you're going to see if you watch the, uh, you know, F1 Grand Prix of Monaco or something. Uh, the styling of the car does have sort of that sort of swoopy nautical modern look. Uh, you see those big xenons up front, big grills, chrome touches in the fog lights it's got these special i don't remember if they're 18 or 19 inch wheels but they're big suckers uh, especially styled for this car you see that pebble beach logo there in the side of the fender uh you know it is a good looking piece and here's what i think is pretty cool about it this is definitely going to be a collectible vehicle v8 powered top goes down limited production high sticker price uh, luxury maker you know this is going to be something that's sought after in the years to come and uh, you know you could really almost look at it listen to that thing nice uh you could really almost consider it an investment uh, you know, in terms of something that's going to hold its value right now. Uh, and in fact, uh, when this car was being made and produced, it did hold its value better than any other car on the road. So already some pretty good indicators. Let's start inside the trunk. And I tell you, I mean it. There just isn't anything else that's styled like this. And you can see I'm fighting a misty Florida morning, really driving me nuts. Uh, I keep wiping. Damn it. God. Damn it. All right, I keep wiping this thing down. I'm not going to do it anymore. Just have to deal with the mist. See, I've got my bag of donuts there for the guys and whatever else. Uh, the top is now in the down position, and Lexus does give you this nice area here, you know, for a few days, uh, groceries or quick little whatever. Uh, you know, when the top is up, though, this area becomes pretty damn big, and uh, all of a sudden you'd be fitting golf clubs in there or, you know, going on a trip to the warehouse and uh, picking up the rolls of paper towels or whatever else. So, uh, actually becomes a pretty usable top. I also like the way those lights, reflectors are in the trunk itself. Have a look under the hood. We're going to be fighting the sun here in a minute. I'm going to start waking up earlier. All right, so here's a 4.3 liter vari variable valve timing. Say that 10 times fast. Uh, V8 from the LS sedans. Uh, that's, you know, just under 300 horsepower, very, very potent engine, very smooth. Of course, you know, barely hear it running. That's sort of a Lexus trademark. Uh, that's coupled to a six-speed automatic gearbox that's nice, smooth shifting, and everything's just really nice and proper and as it should be under the hood here. And of course, being a Lexus, the fit and finish is just incredible. Okay, inside, it's got, ah, uh, there's the sun, God. Damn it. It's got the uh, satin leather. Beautiful, beautiful. Incredible fit and finish. Incredible quality of materials. The bunching of the leather in here. The special wood for the Pebble Beach Edition. Uh, those are illuminated door sills. Of course, it has dual power heated seats. Uh, in the back, I, I suppose you could call them rear seats. If you move forward, you might even get someone to stuff a foot down there. 
Uh, they're in gray. I see the iPhone doing that thing where it changes the color. Man, the back seats are perfect. Please don't think they're in any way different colors over there on the right side. They are perfect. That's just the shading of the damn iPhone. Uh, you can see very little entry wear, you know, barely any at all, barely perceptible. Just 41,000 miles on this thing. So it is, uh, it is barely used. And with those miles, that's really a, uh, you know, collectible feature. So what I'm going to do is roll it forward. A typical Lexus thing, the way the, uh, the gauges go from black to lit up, it's just kind of nice. Okay, so I pulled in front of a tree to try and cut down the... Uh, the sun for a second. Now you see it has a Mark and what is that? Is it and or I always forget that. I think just Mark Levinson sound system, nine speakers, very nice. You've got subtle little memory things uh, built into the wood there in the seats. Again, nice, proper, refined fit and finish. A little Toyota esque, but of course that's part of the build quality of this car that makes it so wonderful. Uh, you can see it's got automatic headlights, very nice. Your mirrors. Uh, dimmer over there, multifunction wheel, cruise control, uh, wood, leather, nice, of course, power column that goes with the uh, the memory seats. So you can move that all around. Sort of strange, humpy looking uh, cluster there on the whatever you call it, but nice chrome rings, lovely. Uh, over here, you get to one of my favorite features of this car, and I'm a sucker for. Um, you know, for gimmicks and tricks. I'll admit that. You throw a shiny object in front of me and I'll just stare at it like a chimp for 20 minutes. I love this. I think that's cool as hell. The, uh, you know, hidden open sesame of the touchscreen there. Also pretty early for touchscreen, which is damn cool. Also has a, uh, a Bluetooth feature inside. I see my detailer forgot the dust there. Uh, here's automatic climate control, both sides. Nice, nice. And again, look at this. Press that little guy there. There's your stereo. I love it. I could just do that for hours. And the nice thing about doing that for hours on this car is quite unlike many German cars, this isn't going to break. So you can keep opening and closing it for a while. And, uh, you know, you're not going to be in the repair shop with a $2,000 bill. Uh, down here, you've got a um, uh, wood shifter. Very nice. You can ratchet your way through the six gears if you want to drive it all sporty like. You've got some cup holders here. Make those work. There we go. Uh, if you have to put your Perrier somewhere, it can go in there. Coffee or whatever. You got heated seats. You got the standard glove box with a big pile of heavy books there. So you got a lot of reading ahead of you. Uh, again, that beautiful uh, special wood for the uh, Pebble Beach edition. Nice, nice. And let's run the top because we can. Uh, you know, this is a pretty quick top. That's another nice thing about this car is it absolutely flies for a folding hardtop. It's a little bit faster going down than up, but it's still pretty quick. I remember uh, it was being compared to the CLK at the time, and uh, there's just no comparison. It beat it by like four seconds up and like 10 seconds down. Up go the rear windows, down goes the trunk, and up come the side windows if you keep your finger on the button. So let me do a quick walk around of the car, sun or not, and you get a feel for how it looks with the uh, folding hardtop in place. Look at that. Beautiful as a coupe. Absolutely beautiful. I know, not everybody agrees, but I think it is. And you can't disagree that it's unique. It is definitely that. And that is part of what creates the era of uh, aura of collectability on this car. All right, so let's get a little bit of AC going. We got some mosquitoes out this morning. They're really breeding around here, like, well, I guess breeding like mosquitoes. Um, you know, the guys fly overhead, they spray, it's nice for a day, and then two days later, they're back and they're like sparrows. Oh, God, we guys who have to live here in the summer, what we suffer through. Terrible, terrible. Okay, well, may we go. Now, this car does not purport to be a sports car. It's, well, I guess it does in the name, but not really. It's not out there saying it's the fastest car or the best handling car. Uh, what it is, is an incredible luxury GT Cruiser. Let this woman and her very nice dog go by. Look at that little guy. Oh, what a cutie. All right, we'll try not to kill anyone here. 
So anyway, as I'm saying, it's what uh, what one would consider sort of a grand tour, something you hop in that's super comfortable, uh, lovely to take on long trips, uh, you know, go for a nice cruise in the mountains or, you know, uh, Cote d'Azur or whatever, and, uh, you know, enjoy yourself. You know, when called upon, it's got some pep, you know, big V8 under the hood, nice. Uh, you know, it handles well enough, of course. Uh, uh, independent suspension all around. It's got good brakes and it's just a lovely, lovely car to drive. You know, it's very quiet. It's tight. There's no creaking. There's no groaning. And here's another thing. It's dependable. It's not one of these cars that's going to have all kinds of weird little intricate problems that cost a fortune. It pretty much just does what it's asked to do without fuss. And that's a really nice setup. Uh, so again, look, if you have an interest, 2006 Lexus SC430 folding hardtop convertible, uh, 41,000 miles, Pebble Beach edition, one of just 500 made that year, and uh, just a lovely, terrific car all around, collectible quality, great paint, great interior, clean Carfax, everything nice and ready to go in this car. So uh, give us a call, 239-649-7300, on the web at mercedesexpert.com. Thanks so much for having a look. We appreciate it. We'll see you with the next one. Take care.